Can you see that? There's two. There's two. Look at that. She knew. <laughs> I can't believe I'm pregnant. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe this. Oh, okay, so it is the 22nd of. Excuse me. Oh, I ate a sausage and now my burps taste like sausage. Yuck. Um, <laughs> it is the 22nd of December. I'm like almost at the end of Vlogmas, you know, like there's so much going on, but I am pregnant. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I can't believe I'm even making this video. Like, oh my gosh, we're gonna have a baby in September. We're so happy. We're so happy. Oh, we've been praying for this and hoping for this and we're just so, so happy. I'm also scared. <laughs> I think I'm just scared of, um, I don't know, like it's gonna be different to last time, you know? And last time was like hard and amazing and stuff, but it's like gonna be different. I don't know why I keep thinking that. I'm like, we're not, we don't live in Glengarry. Like, it's not going to be like it was. And for some reason, that is stressful to me. We just found out last night. My sense of smell has been really heightened. I've been really easily, like, upset. I have been a little bit bloated, peeing a lot. My boobs have been sore, quite weak and hungry. Like, I need to eat quite often. And, gosh, what else? Um, I've been waking up feeling a little bit like when you have just too many drinks and you feel like you can taste them in your mouth and you just feel that little bit queasy and like off acne on my back randomly that was a big one because I haven't had that since I was like you know a teenager but I woke up and I had all these big angry spots on my back and I was like mmm like a pimple here I've got some pimples on my neck I had one right here on my chest all through vlogmas I've been like yawning and I thought it was just that that I was really run down and I've been so like tired in the afternoons and just like yeah feeling like I was getting a cold which was another thing is that my nose has gotten really stuffy my throat has been a bit sore and stuff and that's another sign of early pregnancy and I'm sure the morning sickness will come and all the rest of it but I'm hopeful that because I have been working out consistently for the last six months um my lower back pain shouldn't be so bad this pregnancy so with my first child god that sounds so bizarre to say uh with wolfie's pregnancy i had severe back pain and so i'm hoping that yeah that won't be the case went to f45 this morning <laughs> and i like didn't know how hard to push i didn't know how high my heart rate should go you know like it's all so new and like scary and telling people and we told my parents this morning and they're just like so excited um but yeah we're pregnant we are pregnant pregnant okay guys i am on the way to the doctor ever since i hit six weeks i have felt like Crap. 
just so sick, you know? I knew once we got to six weeks, because there's so much development happening, like the kidney, liver, lungs, and heartbeat, they're all developing and growing and forming, basically. So it's a lot. Like, I just feel really, like, hungover. Like, I just want to lie down and be very still and not move. But, like, you literally can't do that with a toddler. I will admit we watch quite a lot of TV at the moment. Um, and then I'm meeting with my midwife, potential midwife, on Thursday. Um, today's Tuesday. So, hopefully, a lot of things just kind of fall into place really easily and naturally. And I don't have to, like, go through a million different midwives or anything like that. The reason I'm not using my midwife, who I used with Wolfie, is because she's retired. That's the only reason I loved her. I would absolutely have just gone straight back to her, but yeah, can't. Okay, so the doctor gave me like the little pack that you get when you're pregnant. And this time it has cookies in it. Yes, if you know me, you know I love these snaps cookies. What the heck? Oh, New Zealand's, like, care for pregnancy. I know there's a whole thing going on right now with midwives um, not being paid enough or... Oh, I know it's a whole thing and I know I should know more, especially considering it actually affects me now. But I just want to say, we have amazing healthcare for pregnant women and for children. From my experience, my limited experience... <laughs> Anyway, I'm stoked that I get a little bundle like this when I fall pregnant and there's cookies in there. So, just got my anti-nausea pills. Took forever. The whole thing took forever. I've been at the mall for an hour, so I need to go back to my cousin's place and obviously get my other child. Um, but I'm going to quickly call and book in for my scan. Please choose from the following options. We have fully booked across all of our branches. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can do that then. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Oh well. Oh well. Hello. It's been a hot minute since I've talked to you guys. I am now 11 weeks. I'm finally on the up of the deep ditch that I have um, lived in for the past five weeks I guess. I'm just um, reflecting back on how at the beginning I like never felt sick and it was like um, almost distressing not because you didn't know if things were kind of like going well um, and it's so interesting because then as soon as six weeks hit me I truly was just sick and it wasn't even like um, the nausea would come and then go, which is what it was like with Wolfie. I, I truly didn't feel that sick with Wolfie um, when I was pregnant with him. But this pregnancy, it's sick all day, every day. And like for probably three weeks, I was having to take anti-nausea pills most certainly once a day, if not twice. Um, otherwise, I'd be vomiting, um, which again, I wasn't like that with Wolfie, so... It'll be really interesting um, to just like, yeah, find out the gender and see if, you know, the, the if it's a girl, like maybe that's why I'm so much more sick or whatever. We are coming out of that phase, thank God. The nausea kind of comes at night time now. Uh, it's odd, but the fatigue is still really intense. So I've still been getting heaps of help from friends and from the family and stuff. It really does just hit different when you have another child like I just don't understand how people do it I mean I know I've just done it but like how did I even do that I don't know this is my body at 11 weeks you can just see where my uterus is growing but nothing super major um which is kind of nice some days I'm definitely way smaller and other days I'm way bigger. It kind of depends on like my digestion and stuff like that. But um, yes, honestly, I've had no motivation to do anything. Like, haven't been going to the gym because when I wake up in the morning, you guys, like, oh, I'm usually such a morning person. But when I wake up in the morning, I'm not awake. 
I'm struggling. I'm like angry and like just, oh, it's been a whole, a whole perspective shift. Like I don't do my morning routine. I don't drink my coffee before Wolfie wakes up. I never like reflect and write in my diary. Like I'm just, I'm been up struggle street. All that to say, I'm hopeful and I'm grateful that I'm beginning to feel a little bit better. And maybe I'm on the up. Maybe things are going to get good. Anyway, I think I'm going to finish up this vlog here. I hope you loved the announcement of, you know, being able to share that with us of finding out that we are pregnant. Just like overjoyed and just loving it. And it's so interesting um, that because I've already had a child and I know what the baby grows into and I know exactly what I'm like looking at when I see those two lines on the stick the love is instant um, which I didn't have with Wolf you know the first time you get pregnant uh, it can be a huge shock and you don't know what that level of love is yet and you yeah you like literally have no idea do you? sorry about these angles <sighs> but with this one because you know and because you can see your literal child already in front of you and the thought of another one growing in you the love is so huge instantly and that has just been the nicest feeling like to just love being pregnant love the baby already be excited already um it's a very different pregnancy and i Hope that gives any of you a little bit of hope if that wasn't your experience the first time around either. Um, just know that it totally is possible to enjoy pregnancy even though it's also kind of hell. <laughs> well, he's about to wake up from his nap. He's in his big boy toddler bed. Oh, I've got so many updates, honestly. But yes, I'll chat to you guys soon. If even one thing helped you understand or relate, then I have done my job subscribe to stick around and see a million more videos i guess to do with pregnancy and let me know in the comments if there's any videos you specifically want me to make and want to see bye